Hey there everyone, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and just before we get into this video, just want to clarify that I am still continuing with Arsenal Fan TV in light of Robbie's preview that he did, which was excellent by the way for the game this weekend against Norwich. I highly recommend you go and check that out, excellent preview from Robbie himself, but I am still continuing with Arsenal Fan TV, my segment has not changed on the channel and I know some of you might be disappointed by that, but like Marmite, you either love or you hate me, but now you've got the choice of me or Robbie, who, whose preview you watch for the game. So, I mean, to be honest, we really are spoiling you in this sense. And, uh, I mean, you've got the pick of the bunch, really. Pick of the best, I would say. But anyway, this is my preview for the game this Sunday, Norwich City versus Arsenal. A game I'm very much looking forward to. We've got a very good record over Norwich. Only lost to them once in our past six games against them. So, the odds are stacked in our favour. And to be honest... With Norwich, Sunderland and Villa all on the horizon, if we don't get nine points out of nine from those games, then can we seriously be taken as title contenders? These are the games that really decide whether or not you go on to win the title. And even though we did have a disappointing result last weekend against West Bromwich Albion, Liverpool did us a favour by beating City and we are very much in contention for the title. But that is still in our own hands. We've got to be getting three points in this game. Now, like I say, the game of the Hawthorns was very disappointing in the way that we played. But in hindsight, you can say that we were rather unlucky in that game. I know I'm being a bit contradictory on myself, but I think we can all agree that we were very frustrated after that result. But it was a poor result, and given that we had to win that game, very disappointing in hindsight. But we go into this fixture now after the win against Dynamo Zagreb in midweek, which was a really confidence-boosting performance. We had some really great goals from Alexis Sanchez and Mesa Ozil. Both of those players are absolutely on fire at the moment if they can bring that form into this game. Uh, actually saying that, Alexis Sanchez is rumoured to be out of the game with a minor hamstring injury, which would surprise me if he did actually not play in this game. I don't think Wenger would be too keen on leaving him out of the squad, so in my opinion, Alexis Sanchez will still play the game. Um, but I mean, we haven't really got many options to replace him in, in truth, so that's not really... Uh, a doubt in my mind that Alexis Sanchez will start the game. But we do have Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain coming back into the squad, which is a big, big, big bonus for us, given that he's got so much potential to fulfil this season and we don't particularly want to see him get recurring injuries. As well, Aaron Ramsey has a good case to be starting this game. But we've got kind of a selection headache because Joel Campbell put in a very good performance against Dynamo Zagreb in my eyes. And a lot of that was influenced by Hector Bellerin on the right-hand side, who had a very solid right-back performance. And when Bellerin is on song, I think he really brings out the best in Campbell. And those two seem to have a really good connection down the right-hand side. But I do think Ramsey could be the overall contender to start the game, given that he's got such a good understanding with Olivier Giroud. And kind of we're going back to our strongest front line now of Ramsey, Ozil and Alexis Sanchez playing in behind the strike who is either Walcott or Giroud so I would personally put Ramsey back into the side don't think Flamini has done anything to be dropped in this game but Ramsey alongside Cazorla is something that I want to test at some point but not in a game where we kind of need to really get the three points so I'd continue with Flamini in the midfield alongside Cazorla and Flamini albeit he's not the player Coughlin is he's not as dynamic he's not as great to watch but he's effective in the midfield you've got to give him praise where it's due he isn't the most pretty player to watch but he does really make himself known in the midfield and even if he's winning the ball with his chest or foot or whatever he does you know the kind of reckless player he is he does make himself known and he is effective in that defensive midfield role if he can feel his if he can feel Coughlin's boots for the time that he's out then he really could be a big and important player to us this season so credit due to Matthew Flamier. Norwich are a decent side albeit they are three points above relegation this season it is still early days but I do think they've got a good squad Houlihan and Redmond are the two players that we've got to watch in this game I think they've been really on fire for Norwich this season and Norwich do turn it up in the big games as we saw when they played Manchester City at the Etihad this season they did put in a very strong performance and although they did lose the game they did really make themselves known in that fixture and I do think they're really going to take the game to us especially at Carrow Road but I mean they've got an aging defence they don't score a lot of goals and if we really don't beat Norwich then you know, we are in a bit of a pickle. So uh, I do hope we go into this game and I do hope we get the win. My team in full will be Petr Cech in goal, Hector Bellerin, Laurent Koscielny, Gabriel, Monreal, Matthew Flamini, Santa Gazzola, Aaron Ramsey, Moza Ozil, Alexis Sanchez and Olivier Giroud. Now, I would like to see Gabriel come in for Per Mertzaka and... Yeah, Mertzaka didn't really do anything to deserve to be dropped in the game against Dynamo Zagreb. He had a fairly solid performance, although he wasn't really tested in the game. But in my opinion, Gabriel deserves a chance to make himself known within this Arsenal squad. And I think he hasn't really put a foot wrong so far this season. Didn't have his best game against Bayern Munich in the 5-1 hammering at the Allianz. But to be fair, neither did anyone. So Gabriel, for me, certainly warrants a place in this Arsenal defence. But I won't be too fussed if Mertzaka starts the game. We should have a strong enough defence to deal with what Norwich have got up top. But it won't be an easy game. But I fully expect three points in this 
this fixture. After the disappointment last weekend, three points is a definite must. My score prediction is a 2 0 win to Arsenal. Olivier Giroud and Aaron Ramsey getting on the score sheet. Get your score predictions in below. Please do like the video if you've enjoyed it. Send me in your team lineups. If you do want to get involved in these videos, then please do follow me on Twitter at simplycookie underscore, and I will try to get your lineups and thoughts after every game featured in the feature itself. So, uh, yeah, like the video if you've enjoyed it. Like I say, subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you are new to the channel. And as always, we'll be speaking to you very soon.